A hot spring is an emergence of water from the Earth's surface. Cold springs are rather abundant, uh, you know, across the U.S., across the world. In the U.S., you know, there are hundreds of thousands of cold springs, but there are really only a few hundred locales where you have hot springs. The occurrence of a hot spring requires three things, three elements. One would be, you know, kind of simple. You've got to have a source of water. Most water for hot springs is sourced from rainfall or snowfall. The second is you've got to have a source of heat. You've got to have a way to heat water. Then the third element would be you have to have what we call a hydrogeologic framework, which is really just a fancy name for geological plumbing. After it has been heated, it has to be carried back up to the surface rapidly enough to preserve that heat, not lose it to the surrounding rock. We have to have those three elements in place to give us a hot spring. And it turns out it happens a little bit rarely. The spring is the final point on what is often a really long journey for a package of water. Hot springs run uh, the full gradational gamut. You can find numerous hot springs out there that you, have, you know, stick a finger in and you wonder, is that really a hot spring? In fact, they can just be a few degrees above what a normal uh, surface water exposure would be. And then you can find examples where, like at Yellowstone, where the water is actually boiling. You certainly don't want to touch that. The chemistry of the spring water is determined by the rock types through which the water has flowed. Rock minerals can potentially contain toxics such as arsenic, selenium, sulfur, which by itself is not so bad, but sulfur can generate sulfuric acid. And so at high enough concentrations, these more toxic materials may render water that is not really safe for contact. So here's a thing of great beauty, but somewhat hidden, and it only pops up in certain areas with relative rarity. Humans now have a big footprint. We're very active. We're doing a lot of things, and we have the potential so often to affect and affect negatively something like hot springs. We want to make sure that groundwater and hot springs are one of the things that we are taking care of, preserving and protecting so that even though it's for a lot of us sort of out of sight and out of mind, it's still something we value and we take care of. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.